When it comes to the Detroit Lions, they have not typically had a lot of players that have gained national recognition from the NFL for awards. But there is one NFL analyst that thinks the Lions could be in the running for one of those players to win the MVP next year. And we're going to talk about it in today's episode, folks. So stay tuned. What are we? What makes us what we are and what we're going to be? It's grit. It's what we started with last year, guys. It doesn't matter if you have one ass cheek and three toes. I will beat your ass. can definitely compete with, with, with the big dogs. Ten, five, end zone, touchdown Detroit Lions. You guys, you guys are unbelievable, man. I, I'm telling you. We are driven by Detroit. Hello, Lions fans, and welcome back to yet another episode of MCM, Motor City Mania. I'm your host, David T. Pike. And as always, we're diving in. So, here's the thing, folks. I kind of wrestled with myself. I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to make this episode for the day. I thought, you know, maybe I could wait till tomorrow. But ultimately, I kind of willed myself to make the episode. Now, what is this episode about? This episode is about that a recent uh, news report came out at the end of the day today after I was kind of getting done with my work shift and I decided to come home and make the video. And what the report stated was that that there is an NFL analyst that currently believes that the Lions could have a player on their roster that could win the MVP award. Now, who's the NFL analyst that's in question here? The NFL analyst that I'm referring to is a guy by the name of Yogi Roth. This is a guy that used to coach in the Pac-12 at USC. He was considered a quarterback guru. He's a guy that has a lot of experience coaching, dealing with quarterbacks, and now he's an NFL analyst. Now, what did Yogi Roth specifically say? We'll get to that in a minute, but I'm just going to kind of like, you know, paraphrase, sum this whole thing up here. The guy that Yogi Roth thinks that could win the NFL MVP award next year is quarterback Jared Goff. Now, what exactly did Yogi Roth say? Yogi Roth said this. I've got the quote up on my computer, so I'm going to pull it up really quickly. You might hear a click or two in the background, but this is what he said. What he said was this. He said, I think Jared Goff has a chance to win the MVP and take his team to the Super Bowl. I've been around Jared Goff, and I think that where he sits now, the comfort in his own feet, who he is, the way he's played, and what he did last year, and what this team believes in moving forward, I'm all in on the Lions. So, Here's the thing, folks. There are two very, very key points that are in that quote that I just put from, you know, Roth. The first thing is, is that number one, he thinks that Jared Goff has a chance to win the NFL MVP award. But not only does he think that Goff has a chance to win the MVP award, he also believes, and as he stated at the very end of that quote, that he is all in on the Detroit Lions winning the Super Bowl. So pretty big words coming from this analyst, pretty high words of praise, not only for Jared Goff, but also for the Detroit Lions. More so for Goff than the Lions, because a lot of people consider the Lions to be Super Bowl contenders. But for the Lions to have a player that some people actually think, particularly this dude think, could actually have a shot at winning the MVP, that's actually pretty dang significant. That's actually pretty important, because we have to think about this. Like, truly think about this, folks. If you want to think, when was the last time that a Detroit Lions player actually won the MVP award. Only one time has it ever happened, as far as I know, since the NFL's actually been handing out the award. And that was Barry Sanders, the legendary Barry Sanders. And here's the thing about it. Barry Sanders didn't even win that year as the singular MVP. If I recall correctly, he won it that year as a co-MVP with Brett Favre, if I don't recall, if you know, if I recall correctly. Here's the thing. Let's just play the hypothetical what if here and just say if Jared Goff were to somehow win the NFL MVP award, which I'm going to say this. Is it out of the realm of possibilities? No, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. But is it probable? <laughs> um, as much as I'm a Jared Goff fan, as much as I'm a Lions fan, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just sorry. I know that this is a quarterback-driven league. I know that much for a fact. But let's consider something here. 
Jared Goff is not the most popular quarterback in the NFL. And let's also understand something here. The NFL award systems nowadays is a freaking popularity contest. It's not about who's necessarily the best player. It's about who's the most valuable player in terms of popularity. Because when you talk about these writers that sit down and make their voting decisions, they don't vote, they don't vote on based upon who's the most valuable player or the best player for the you know award that's in question. They vote on who's the most popular player. And I'm sorry, you know, Jared Goff, is he a damn good quarterback? Yeah, he's a damn good quarterback. But Jared Goff is never, ever going to be that good to where he's going to win an award like the NFL MVP award. That's usually held for the most prestigious player and usually the most popular players. Guys like Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, uh, Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes. Jared Goff's good, but he's not that good. He's not going to get that much prestige. It would it, let's, let's put it this way. We know for a fact as Lions fans that the last two years that Jared Goff has been with the Detroit Lions, he's put up top 10 numbers and actually sometimes top five numbers, which shows how damn good of a quarterback that he is. He is a good quarterback, not only on the field as far as what he can provide for the Lions in terms of wins, but he's also a statistically good quarterback. And again, if you just take a look at what Jared Goff has done last year, again, 30 touchdowns to 12 interceptions, 4,500 passing yards. Again, all that's top 10 numbers right there. And then you go to the year previous to that, 29 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Again, I think it was like 42, 4,300 yards. Again, more top 10 numbers. And then when you take a look at the full body of work that Jared Goff has had over the course of his time here in Detroit, again, he's one of the best quarterbacks over the last three years in terms of statistical production. But here's the point of the matter. Regardless of how well Jared Goff plays, he would have to have a season for the ages. Like, he'd have to have a season like what freaking Tom Brady did in 2007 or what freaking Peyton Manning did in 2013. It would have to be a season where golf throws like 5,000 plus yards, 40 plus, 50 plus some touchdowns, and just that would be that would be all anybody would talk about. But here's what I know for a fact. Could Jared Goff do that? I believe he could, but it's not going to happen in the system that we currently have. You have to understand something here. The system that we have under Coach Dan Campbell and offensive coordinator Ben Johnson, it's not going to have Jared Goff being the primary focus of the offense to where we're throwing the ball willy nilly and you know just just being hap, you know being slap happy about it and freaking throwing the ball like Matthew Stafford used to do when we had Megatron. That's not the way we play football in Detroit anymore. Is the passing game still important to us? Oh hell yes, it is. But when you've got two running backs in David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs who can get you a 1,000 yards a season in the same season, there's not as much incentive to want to throw the ball or even have to throw the ball. So again, think about that. Think about how prolific the offense has been having running backs like what we have because last year it was Montgomery and it was Jameer Gibbs. The year before that, it was, it was DeAndre Swift and it was freaking Jamal Williams. So it's like, hey, We've had good running backs for the most part the last two years and have been able to put up 2,000 plus yard rushing seasons from both of those years, but yet we've still had Jared Goff who's gone out there and thrown 4,000 plus yards and now 4,500 plus yards in two straight years. So it's like, listen, Jared Goff, is he going to have a good year with the Detroit Lions this year? I believe he will. I wouldn't be surprised if Jared Goff throws another 4,000 plus yards, 4,500 plus yards, 30 plus touchdowns. But again, that's not going to be enough to win the NFL MVP, especially when you got guys like Patrick Mahomes, especially when you got guys like Aaron Rodgers, especially when you got guys like Josh Allen, who they are the primary focal points of their offense as everything flows through them. While Jared Goff might be the quarterback for the Detroit Lions, the offense does not flow primarily through him. There are a lot of other guys on that offense that make up a lot of plays and make up a lot of that offense being successful rather than just him. That's why guys like, I said, Josh Allen, Rodgers, Mahomes, Brady and Manning, when they played, they were guys that everybody specifically would look to because it was like, hey, they are it. They might have other pieces. They might have this or that, but they are it. Without them, there is no show. Without them, there is nothing. Now, if you take Jared Goff out of the Detroit Lions lineup, the same thing's going to happen. But nobody's going to think about it that way because it's like, listen, are the Lions a popular team now? Yeah, they're a popular team. Are they a Super Bowl contending team? Yeah, they're a Super Bowl contending team. But are they in the same conversation as popularity as far as, you know, the Chiefs, as far as all these other teams that I've mentioned with these superstar quarterbacks? No. 
That's because most people don't consider Jared Goff to be a superstar quarterback. They consider him to be a quarterback that's in that very good category, like a fringe top 10 quarterback. I consider him to be a top 10 to almost top 5 quarterback. But again, you know what? I'm not the one that's making the voting here. I'm not the one that does that stuff. I'm just a podcaster that's reporting this stuff. But here's what I will say. Even if Jared Goff doesn't win the MVP, that's not going to bug me because of two simple reasons. One, it's not going to bug Jared Goff. Jared Goff doesn't care if he wins the MVP award or not. He would probably say the same thing. I don't care if I win, but if I do, I'm going to absolutely be happy about it. That's pretty much the same mindset I have. If he wins, great. If he doesn't, I don't care. And I really don't think anybody else is going to care. You want to know what the Lions care about? It's exactly what, you know, freaking Roth said at the very end there, winning the Super Bowl. And again, that goes back to what happened last year. The freaking Lions were, as I've said before, and I say it again, it's kind of ironic. It's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, but it's the truth. They were a whisker away from getting to a Super Bowl. And it's like, listen, this team is that good. They can get and win to a suit. They can win the Super Bowl. So it's like, hey, they don't give a care about personal accolades. They don't give a care about personal awards. What they give a care about is the ultimate award that all players want. Winning a Super Bowl, getting that Super Bowl ring, getting that Super Bowl trophy. That's what they care about. So it's like, hey, you know what? Could Jared Goff win the Super? Could Jared Goff win the NFL MVP award? It's possible, but highly, highly improbable. It would be nice if it were to happen along with winning a Super Bowl, but again, I shan't hold my breath. I'm more interested in winning the Super Bowl rather than you know winning personal awards. That's an Aaron Rodgers mindset right there. When he was like, oh yeah, I'm interested in winning another MVP. Didn't say anything about winning another Super Bowl. It was more about another MVP award, which I think, again, kind of goes to the personal attitude mindset that Rodgers is, which is more about himself rather than about the team. And that's the opposite with Jared Goff. Jared Goff is more about the team rather than about himself. So for me, it's like, listen, I think that Roth has got the right mindset that, you know, the Lions have a a a shot, a shot, a chance to win the Super Bowl. But as much as I would like to hear Jared Goff's name as MVP, I don't think it's going to happen. It's a nice idea. It's a nice fantasy for some people, but it's like, listen, that's not the reality, and it never will be the reality. Jared Goff, at best, might get an Offensive Player of the Year award. He might get something else like that, but he's never going to win the MVP. It would be nice, but it's just not going to happen. Now, When you're talking about, like I said, the Super Bowl, the reason why the Lions are a good shot to win the Super Bowl this year is because there are players that want to play for the Lions. Players that are coming to play because of guys like Jared Goff and other guys like Amon Ross St. Brown, but also because of what we've built here in Detroit through Dan Campbell. So again, like I said, I think it's possible we win the Super Bowl. I think it's very probable we can win a Super Bowl. But I'm not going to get too worked up by Jared Goff winning the MVP. But it is a nice thought. It really is. But anyway, folks... I just figured I'd make this episode really quickly, push it out there, see how it does. It might not do well. It might do something. I don't know. But anyway, I just figured I'd put it together and tell you guys all once again, thank you all for watching yet another episode of MCM Motor City Mania. And with that, I also just want to say thank you all for everything you guys do. You guys are an absolutely wonderful audience. And I hope that you guys do one of these three things. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If by chance you subscribed in the past and forgot to do so at the time, or you just subscribed and not had a chance to do so, again, please subscribe. It helps me out, and I'm thankful for each one I can get. But I also want to say, after you subscribe, make sure you turn on that bell notification icon as well, so that way you never miss any more content that I push out. Also encourage you all to share this content with your Lions friends and family members. Share here on YouTube, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share anywhere and everywhere you can with everybody and anybody that you can. The more we can share it, the greater the channel spreads, which means the better the channel grows. And with that being said to everybody, again, I just want to say thank you all for what you guys do. You guys are an awesome community. You guys are an awesome set of fans and subscribers. I hope you guys have something that makes you happy. I hope you guys have something that makes you smile. And I hope you enjoyed the content. And with that, God bless. Hope you all are doing well. And until the next time we meet, I'll see you all in the next episode.